Good evening, I am a hot mess right now. Honestly, the state of me, you can tell it's been a long travel day today. We've just arrived here in Kuala Lumpur this evening from Johor Bahru. It was supposed to be a four hour journey on the bus, but it ended up being more like six. So originally we were planning on booking the bus online from Johor Bahru to Kuala Lumpur. And then this morning, just as we checked out of our hotel, the guy who was on reception, he actually offered to take us down to the local bus station so we could just book them directly there. We actually only ended up paying 36 ringgit per person, which is about six pounds. And the bus, as I just said, was about six hours long. So actually the bare minimum for a long bus journey. To be honest as well, I feel like we kind of hit the jackpot with our bus because it wasn't a sleeper bus or anything like that, but it was very comfy. The seats were huge and they also reclined, which was a massive bonus. Not to mention we did not have any data or SIM along the way. So we had no idea whereabouts we were and when we were gonna be arriving in Kuala Lumpur. We also realized that we hadn't actually booked any accommodation as well. So by the time we got here, we had to find somewhere with a local hotspot so that we could log onto the Wi-Fi and book something. We ended up just booking this place, which is basically a hostel and we've got a private room, which was eight pound per night. So four pound each. It's honestly nothing special. I mean, there's Callum. Other than that, it's just a bed and a curtain and that is it. But to be honest, it seems like it's gonna be a comfy night's sleep and that's all that we can ask for really. But I feel very glad to finally be back in Kuala Lumpur. Obviously the last time that we were here, we only did a one night layover on our way to the Philippines and we haven't actually explored the city. So I think tomorrow is gonna to be a big explorer backpacker day for us because there is so much to do and see in this city. But anyways, we're off to bed now, but welcome to Kuala Lumpur. See you in the morning. So after an unsuccessful attempt to try and find some breakfast this morning, it seems that a lot of cafes and restaurants at the moment are currently closed today. We've basically not been able to find anywhere to get a nice breakfast. So we ended up just going to 7-Eleven and getting some chocolate filled croissants and a lychee juice. But we actually haven't eaten anything and it is nearly 12 o'clock now, isn't it? So we probably should eat that soon. Anyways, our plan today was that we were gonna go to the Batu Caves in Kuala Lumpur, but silly me, I forgot to bring anything to cover my shoulders and my knees. And of course, because it is a Hindu religious temple, I do need something to cover myself. So we'll probably do that tomorrow instead. So at the moment, we're trying to make our way towards the Bajaya Times Square, but without any phone sim or data, we don't really know where we're going. So we're just figuring out whether it's best to get a bus or an MRT or walk it. I think we're gonna walk it. It's probably about half an hour walk. We've got nothing better to do right now, so we're gonna go and head there now. Callum has been looking for a phone strap phone case like mine for the longest time and we've just seen one on this market stall for only 39 ringgit as well which is actually a little bit more than probably we wanted to pay but at this point we've been looking for ages and haven't come across one. inside the mall and we've come to this little place this is a panini and pizza cafe called vivo and this just looks so good we actually missed breakfast in the end this morning because we just couldn't find anywhere to go so we're making up for it with a nice lunch i look forward to eating this oh my god that is so good So we've fallen into a rabbit hole of booking accommodation on the day. Um, I don't really know what, how this has happened, but we just seem to keep forgetting to book in advance. Anyways, I've just found somewhere to stay tonight and tomorrow night in Kuala Lumpur on Agoda. It's this really nice like apartment residency block and it's got our own kitchenette, our own bathroom. It's kind of like an apartment and I got it for 30 pounds for two nights. So about seven pound 50 each per night, which is a complete win. And I am so excited to have a comfy bed because last night 
night. I found the bed quite comfy, but Callum had a really bad night's sleep, so we thought we're gonna treat ourselves. To be honest, the hostel that we were looking at was about seven or eight pound each per night as well in a dorm room. So actually, this is a way better deal. So looking forward to that. Hopefully it's as nice as it looks on the pictures. day today we've ended up in this shopping mall we've had lunch here and now there's a whole amusement park here there's even literally a roller coaster that goes like loop to loop i don't really know how they fit this in the shopping mall but somehow they have they've also got bowling laser quest escape rooms they've literally got everything that children like us would want <laughs> so i think we're gonna have a little look at the price of the escape room and see if we're gonna do it we didn't make it out of the escape room. We would have been stuck there for all of eternity. The issue is that the whole thing was to do with star signs and to do with Roman numerals. And don't come at me because I know there's so many people who love their star signs, but I do not know my star signs. So I was staring at them thinking, what the hell? Like, I don't know what I'm meant to do here. I don't know what one is what. So yeah, we failed massively. We had two minutes left when we got into the last room and then the whole room was full of Roman numerals. And what was a girl supposed to do? A girl does not know her Roman Roman numerals so before we do one next time I'm gonna make sure I know my star signs my Roman numerals and then hopefully we should win we figured out the last one but we ran out of time but we, well, did we knew how to, to do it we just didn't know what numbers we had to put together that was the issue no we ran out of time, ran out of time. and that I suppose guys we've just checked into our seven pound a night accommodation when I tell you in London this would be probably over £100 a night. We've got our own sink unit and cooker and washing machine. We've got our own fridge. It's like a little apartment. I mean, this bed is definitely not a queen size bed. It's definitely a small double, but look at what we get to wake up to. I mean, it is very rainy right now. I mean, Malaysia is just thunderstorm central pretty much since we arrived, but what better view to have in rainy season? Our own sofa here, we can play cards and a lovely looking bathroom too. Have a little view of the city whilst you have a shit. Stunning, seven quid. What a fucking bargain. I cannot believe that we paid that much for it. So now we have our apartment. We're cooking dinner. It's been a while since we cooked dinner. It's been we were, three months to be exact. Yeah, we were week. in a rush for ingredients. We just got spaghetti and tomato sauce, which oh, will be nice. Don't forget what's happening behind us. I'm too. about to show them. We also have a cheeky wash load going on in here. Uh, what we didn't realise was that actually from the Philippines we had so much washing to do. I didn't even realise there was just weeks and weeks worth of washing. So we were waiting until there was somewhere cheap enough to be able to do it. But luckily in our apartment we have our own washing machine which is so convenient I can't even tell yeah. you that's probably saved us so much money by having this in here because we had so much and also that's another thing that we've saved on being in this apartment we didn't even know that there was washing here we probably would have ended up spending I don't know maybe a fiver on washing so not a lot but every little helps on the menu tonight for our dinner is some tomato pasta with some cheese that really is all that the shop had for us to deal with so that's what we're going with there was spaghetti or macaroni and there was like no tomato sauces apparently so, so we've decided to go for a good old pasta and I mean can you go wrong with pasta find out soon <laughs> And voila, here is our cheesy tomato spaghetti for the night. And I don't know how much this cost in total, probably saved us a fortune on pasta. Good morning from Kuala Lumpur. Today we have decided to be tourists again, seeing as yesterday didn't really work out. We are up early, it's probably not that early, is it about nine now? It's nine. Yeah, 
We're gonna head to the Batu Caves today, which is basically the most popular sightseeing thing to do for tourists in Kuala Lumpur. I know it sounds really stereotypical of us going to all the touristy places, but the Batu Caves does look really cool, so I look forward to going there. We are starting the day off right with some chocolate cereal and some milk because, you know, in an apartment now, so we can store our stuff in the fridge. Last night, we ended up booking a last minute flight tomorrow to Borneo. So tomorrow, we will be going to Borneo for five days. We've decided to do it as a return trip to come to Kuala Lumpur. The reason being is because Borneo is a part of Malaysia, except it is its own island. And there is no ferries that run directly between Malaysia mainland to Borneo. Basically, your best bet is to fly. And if we was to fly from anywhere else, it was super, super expensive. But also most of the flights do go from Kuala Lumpur. So if we had carried on continuing Malaysia and then had to come back to Kuala Lumpur to then go there and then fly back here, it's all a bit annoying. So we've basically decided whilst we're already still here in this city, we're just gonna go there, come back and then continue Malaysia after that. We are so excited to go to Borneo. It was like one of my top things on my list before we came out traveling that I wanted to go and do. Borneo is basically a massive jungle, to put it simply. It is the home of a lot of wild orangutans in Borneo as well, which is one of the reasons that we're going. But backtracking a little bit just to today, we're gonna finish eating our cereal, get ready and then head to the Batu Caves this morning. The Batu Caves are made up of three main caves, all featuring temples and Hindu shrines. Its main attraction is the large gold statue of the Hindu god at the entrance and the 272 step rainbow staircase climb up to reach the top where you can also have a gorgeous skyline view of the city. Lots of cheeky monkeys frolic around the cave, making it quite a well-known spot for tourists. And it's also apparently a popular spot for rock climbing, which we didn't actually know, otherwise I'm sure Callum would have been trying to do that. <laughs> Showing off for the camera. He looked me right in the eye as he did it as well. <laughs> that was so cute. <laughs> oh, he dropped his food. Oh, we found it. Oh, he dropped it again. This little rascal has just come up and stolen my croissant and then has the audacity to eat it right in front of me. We are now on our way towards the National Mosque of Malaysia. I don't really know a lot about it to be honest, but it's meant to be beautiful and I got recommended to come here by my friend who was here last week. Let's see what it looks like. So the National Mosque was built in 1963 to celebrate the independence of Malaysia and it's located in the heart of Kuala Lumpur City. It's one of the largest mosques in Southeast Asia and can hold up to 15,000 people at one time. The 18 pointed star dome represents the 13 states of Malaysia and five pillars of Islam. Besides using it as a place of prayer, the National Mosque can also be used for various other things, including official ceremonies, public lectures, seminars, training workshops and conferences. So this is the view from our £15 a night hotel room. Look at that, absolutely stunning. And I'm gonna leave this vlog here. That same evening after we went to the Twin Towers, we basically ended up just having a really chilled night in our apartment. We just ended up reheating that pasta from the night before, and then the next day we had some time to kill before our flight to Borneo, so we went to the cinema and watched the Mario movie, which, by the way, so good. We literally enjoyed every second of that movie, like, filled my heart with happiness. As I am currently filming this outro, we are sat in Borneo in Kota Kinabalu. We are heading to Sandakan today, where we are going to see, hopefully, the orangutans and the amazing wildlife in Borneo. Thank you so much for watching this vlog in Kuala Lumpur. If you did enjoy, please make sure to leave a big thumbs up, leave us a comment down below, and also subscribe to the channel if you have not already. If you are interested in seeing what we get up to in Borneo, then please make sure to look out for the vlog. This should be going live after the Kuala Lumpur one. But once again, I'm gonna leave this one here. Thank you so much for watching, and hopefully see you in our Borneo vlog. Bye.